Hi guys, this is James from HomeCache 101 and today I'm going to show you how to integrate your WordPress website with Facebook. It's going to be a really simple process here um, and we're just going to take a few minutes. This is going to allow you to add a lot of functionality to your site because honestly Facebook is just so huge nowadays that you should be using them and connecting your site with Facebook. And I'm going to show you several different things you can do here. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come down here to the plugins menu. And here we go. We're just going to go to add new. And I've actually already installed this, but what we want is simple Facebook Connect search plugins and it's the simple Facebook connect which is this very top one right here so just search for simple Facebook connect under plugins like I said I've already got it installed so I'm going to go to my plugins back to my plugins page and I'm gonna come down here and when you install the simple Facebook connect it's going to install all of these plugins these are all the simple Facebook connect plugins they're gonna have SFC with them and what you want to do is you want to just come down here and find the simple Facebook connect base and activate that one first don't try to activate all of them at once because it won't work you have to go ahead and get in the settings setup this will take you to the simple Facebook connect settings page and you can click on Facebook setup right here and that will take you to the Facebook application page so if you click on the application setup page it's gonna bring you to this page here and you just say test my new app agree and then create application fill in the capture form submit and here's your app you can fill in a description you can rename your application um, put in your contact information put in your privacy URL your terms of service URL if you have one and just save changes and once you have that done this is going to bring you to this page here which is where you can get all of this information. Now you can always go back and edit the settings and it'll take you right back to the page we just left. Um, you can do the application profile page which is basically like a fan page wall for your application and um, we're going to show you how to use that. You can change your secret key which is this number right here. Um, that's a good idea to do like after this video I'm gonna have to reset my secret key so that you guys don't all know what mine is and so I have to change some of those numbers there now once you get this done go back to the application page and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the Facebook API key the application secret key and your Facebook application ID so you go right back here to the developers page and the first thing you need is we're gonna just grab the application ID so I'm just going to highlight it in control C and that's going to be the third one down here then the next one the API key which is the next one in the list here and then the secret key and just paste all three of those in now if you've already set up a fan page you can set up your fan page ID right here if you don't have a fan page started don't worry about it just leave it blank and they'll set you one up um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and come right back here and I am going to go to relationship marketing mastery which is my fan page and what I want is I want my fan page ID and 
and what I need is if you come to your wall it's going to be this string of numbers right here at the end of your URL. So I come back over here and I input that string of numbers in. Save changes. It's going to bring you back right here and you've saved your changes. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to the dashboard here and in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up the next part of your application which is going to be setting up all of those individual plugins that we're going to use here. So come back and we'll see you in the next video.